What's up guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development. If you're a new viewer, welcome. We do a lot of exercise tutorials, walk you through education within training and nutrition, and take you through our day from time to time and show you how awesome our day is within our training or within our work. If you've been watching us, Welcome back, we're so grateful for you. Make sure that you share this one with a friend. Now, we're going to dig into the education of the walking lunge with a quad bias. If you are familiar with our content, more often than not, we're talking about glutes, trying to bias the glutes in different exercises. And this is one exercise that you can bias the glutes, but we're trying to do it a different way. And so when we're biasing for glutes, we're focusing on hip flexion in the bottom of the lunge. But now, when we're focusing on quads here, we're gonna be focusing on knee flexion and kind of changing things around. If you haven't seen our walking lunge video with a glute bias, that video will be in the description notes below. Let's go ahead and hop in and show you guys how to bias the quads in the walking lunge. The first thing that we're gonna get started with is going to be the stride length. So when we look at her stride length, it's not going to be a full stride. It's actually going to be about half of her normal stride. And as she goes into the lunge itself, another marker that we can utilize is going to be that knee in alignment with that ankle. The reason for the shortened stride is that we're wanting to prioritize knee flexion. And so with that bias or with that intent, Sue is going to initiate the movement by driving that knee forward and keeping her upper body more upright relative to what we would be doing if we were trying to bias glutes, where we would be striding longer, hinging at the hips to initiate, keeping the spine in a neutral position, but leaning forward. And that allows for us to bias more hip flexion and make it more glute dominant. With us having a quad bias, we're going to have that shortened stride. We're going to initiate by driving the knee forward, keeping our, our, body more, our upper body more upright and allow for that quad to fully lengthen. This is going to be something that is not an easy movement in terms of continuing to walk forward. Take your time as you are striding forward, potentially resetting with each repetition to allow for you to drive the knee forward because oftentimes if you're not taking your time and you're trying to just continue to stride after stride, what's going to happen is that stride length is going to get longer and you're going to end up biasing glutes. Not a bad thing, but when we're trying to train quads, we have to be a little bit more specific with our, our stride length and those different factors. So that is a big piece when you're performing this exercise. If you notice that your heel is lifting off of the ground as you drive that knee forward, it's probably a limiting factor with your ankle mobility. And so utilizing a weightlifting shoe that has a heel elevation is going to be immensely helpful, or you can utilize the Prime Fitness Wedge if you're in more of a stationary position, but the weightlifting shoe is going to be your best option in the walking lunge specifically. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you want to look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.